Glory to God. Hallelujah. Welcome once again to our midweek victorious service. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Sa lahat ng mga nandito, sa lahat ng mga nakikinig at nanonood, saan mang panig ng Pilipinas, saan mang panig ng daigdig, wherever you are in right now, here in Metro Manila, or in Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao, or in different parts of the world. So welcome to That's Isaiah the Lord programs. Watch and listen. Invite others to watch and listen. Pray and fast and uh, support. Yan, ipanalang, ipag-ayuno, suportahan, pakinggan, panuurin, ipag-imbita. Ang KOJF Church YouTube Channel. KOJF Church YouTube Channel. Glory to God. Like, share, and subscribe. Ilista mo. KOJF Church YouTube Channel. And Kingdom of Jesus Fellowship International Facebook fan page. Like, share, and follow. Yun. I-follow mo mismo talaga. Hindi lang yung... Uh, Nilalike mo yung mga nakapos, yung mismong fanpage, ilike mo, i-follow mo. Tapos pagkatapos, ilike mo yung mga nakapos, i-reshare mo rin naman. Naunawaan po ba natin yun? So purihin ang pangalan ng Panginoon. Glory to God bago tayo magsimula sa matinding awitan natin ng pagpupurit pagsamba sa Panginoon. Tayo po mo ng lahat ay manalangin. Shall we pray before we declare the goodness? and the faithfulness of God here in the Philippines and in the nations of the world, from the Philippine Island to the nations of the world. Taas po natin ang ating dalawang kamay patungo ng langit. Shall we lift our both hands to Jesus? Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, through the power of God, the Holy Spirit, kami pong lahat ay lumalapit sa iyo, Panginoon, with full humility and with full expectancy in our hearts, Panginoon. At naniniwala kami, Panginoon, na hindi niyo po kami bibigoyin. We will receive your salvation, your deliverance, your healing, your miracle. Tunay nga po, Panginoong Diyos, dakilang bagay po ang magaganap sa amin sa araw na ito. Truly, we will experience once again your goodness, your faithfulness, and you will bring us once again to our highest calling. We will know you more. Magpapakilala ka pa sa amin, Panginoon. Sa isang uh, mas, ma, mas malalim at mas tama pang kaparaan ng Panginoon sa pamagitan uh, ng uh, Biblia at sa pamamagitan ng Rema or Prophetic Word. You will reveal yourself once again to us through the Holy Bible and through the Rema, the Prophetic Word of God. And truly, O Lord, the apostolic anointing will manifest strongly. Panginoong Diyos, ang apostolic anointing ay dadalwi ng malakas Panginoon mula sa lugar na ito Patungo sa buong Pilipinas, patungo sa buong mundo. Kaya naman po, Ama, gawin niyo pong karapat-dapat ang aming mga puso. Make us worthy, cleanse us with your holy blood. Because we admit that apart from you, we can do nothing. So Father, we bring back to you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen and Amen. Alleluia! Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Isa na namang magandang araw at panahon para sambahin at nakilain ang ating Panginoong Diyos sa buhay. Ang nais ko pong basahin sa aklat po ng Isaiah 40 verse 31. But, the, but they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Hallelujah! Ang kalakasan daw po natin ay tunay nga na ibinibigay ng Panginoon. Hindi mawawala. Tayo ay lilipad. Tayo ay patuloy na tatayo. Sapagat ang kalakasan ng Panginoon ay nasa ating mga buhay. God is the strength of our hearts. Woo!
our hearts, Lord, forever and ever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Patuloy po nating sambahin, takilain ang ating Panginoon sa oras nito, at alaya ng mataas na kapurihan. Oh, hallelujah. We will continue to worship you, Lord, to serve you, Lord. Hallelujah. As we sing this song once again, we will magnify, we will glorify your name.
our praises. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Grow in the grace and in the knowledge of our Lord uh, Jesus Christ. That is the title of the message, the wonderful message of God uh, this day. Ano po ang uh, kamagat, ang title? Grow in the grace and in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lumago kayo. Lumago sa biyaya at sa pananampalataya o pagkakilala lumago sa biyaya at pagkakilala sa ating Panginoong Heso Kristo Glory to God Yan So matatagpuan natin yan mga minamahal sa aklat ng 2 Peter 3.18 Glory to God 2 Peter 3.18 So praise the God. Hallelujah. So once again, those who are watching and listening out there, welcome to the Say the Lord programs. Ito ang sabi ng Panginoon, radio and television programs. Dapat nagsiselebrate na tayo ng anniversary natin. Eh dahil sa pandemyang ito na hindi natin inaasahan, hindi tuloy tayo makapag-celebrate. Uh, we have to be uh, at this uh, point in time, no? At uh, itong mga pagkakataong ito, dapat nagsiselebrate na tayo, no? ng uh, programang ito ang sabi ng Panginoon sa radyo at television. Glory to God. So yung ating programa sa radyo at television, suportahan pinansyal, ipanalangin, ipag-ayuno, pakinggan at ipag-imbita. Does say the Lord, radyo and television programs, ito ang sabi ng Panginoon. At dapat nga, nag-celebrate na tayo ngayon. Pero dahil uh, itong uh, pandemyang ito at dumating yung MECQ sa Metro Manila, so we will not able to celebrate our uh, Uh, radio and television na anniversary. Glory to God. And uh, yung mga viewer natin, so yung mga hindi pa viewer dyan, i-like, share i-subscribe KOJF Church YouTube channel. Tapos i-like, i-share, i-follow Kingdom of Jesus Fellowship International Facebook fan page. So sa lahat ng mga nandito, sa lahat ng mga nakikinig at nanonood, lalo na sa mga first timer, so welcome. Before I... Proceed to my message. Actually, it's the message of the Lord given to me. Nais ko lang magpasalamat sa Panginoon sapagkat yung uh, pinsan ko dito sa Metro Manila ay kumontak sa akin sapagkat yung pamanggin ko pala sa Tokyo, Japan ay tinamaan ng COVID. So, ang ginawa ko, yung kapatid niya nasa Japan, sa Tokyo, Japan, ay tinawagan ko at kinumusta ko nga po yung aking pamangkin doon sa Tokyo, Japan. Yung aking uh, pinsan ay nasa bahay at yung aking pamangkin ay nasa hospital kasi ganun talaga eh. Kapag dinamaan ka ng COVID, ang nagbabantay, nag-aasikaso lang sa'yo ay, ay nurse and uh, doctor. Ganun yun eh. Uh, uh, only if you hit uh, by, by the COVID, you know, the medical personnel personals will attend to you but no loved one, no family member, no relatives will attend to you. So when I called uh, my cousin in Tokyo, Japan, she's in the house and uh, her son, uh, my nephew, is in hospital. At ang sabi niya, tinamaan yung baga. So ibig sabihin, hindi ordinaryo, malala, no? no? Tinamaan, my nephew in Japan was hit by COVID and according to her mother, my cousin, I, the, the, lungs, the lungs were infected. So we prayed, no? Nanalangin kami and asked God for healing and miracle. Then, uh, siguro, hindi ko alam kung mga just, uh, just last week yata nung tinawagan ko yung aking pinsan sa Tokyo, Japan. Then, just last night, no? Nag-message sa akin yung pinsan ko at, at nagpapasalamat siya sa akin, nagpapasalamat sa Diyos, sabi niya, Kuya, Sinagot ng Diyos ang prayer mo para sa 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 ating minamahal na COVID doon sa Japan. So my cousin contacted me and uh, thanking me, thanking the Lord Jesus Christ and thanking me for my prayer. And God intervened, the Lord Jesus Christ gives healing, no, to my nephew in Tokyo, Japan. So purihin ang pangalan ng Panginoong Diyos sa buhay. Glory to God. So kung kayo po ay may mga prayer request, counseling, no? 
uh, if you need prayer request, counseling, ganyan, may mga prayer, mga panalangin kayo, meron kayong nangangailangan kayo ng payo, kung kayo po ay may mga tanong, no? if you have inquiries, questions, counseling, prayer request, just PM here, just contact us. Glory to God. And truly, the Lord will grant all the good requests of your hearts. If you are asking in, in line, in accordance with the will of God, then the Lord will answer it. Kapag ang inyo pong mga kahilingang pandalangin ay naaayon sa kalooban ng Diyos, kagaya ng kaligtasan, healing, miracle, salvation, deliverance, prosperity, success, victory, divine intervention of God, truly the Lord will grant all the good requests of our hearts. So 2 Peter 3.18, I'm reading from the NIV. But grow in the grace and the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. To Him be glory, both now and forever. Amen. Yan, ang sabing ganoon, grow. Pakisabi, grow. Grow in the grace and knowledge. Lumago kayo. Parang binhi, like a seed. If you will plant a seed, you are desiring the seed to grow. Not, not to remain a seed, not to die, no, but to grow. To become a plant, to become a tree. Gan po, ganun po yun. Kapag nagtanim ka ng binhi, gusto mo maging halaman yan, maging puno yan. Yan, ganun yun. Yan. So, many didn't know, yet didn't know the Lord Jesus Christ. Marami, marami. Ay, walang ma personal na relasyon kay Kristo. No? Many don't have yet personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. And many no, did not yet receive the grace of God. Marami ay hindi pa natatanggap yung biyaya ng Diyos. Marami hindi nila kilala ang Panginoong Heso Kristo. Sa isang tamat Bibliang kaparaanan, wala pa silang relasyon kay Kristo. Totoo po yan. No? Many has no personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ. Many did not yet receive the grace of God. In the book of Ephesians 2, 8 and 9, Ephesians 2, 8 and 9, it says, Ephesians 2, 8 and 9, uh, basahin natin, Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 and uh, 9, ito po ang pagkakasabi rito, For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not from yourselves, it is not the gift, it is, I mean, the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not from yourselves. It is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. Listen very carefully. Sa mga hindi nakakaalam nito, huwag nating sabihin tayo ay may relihiyon, may sekta, bininyagan, binautismohan. No? Do not boast that we are a leader of a religion. We are very religious. We belong to a, to a religion, a famous religion. We were baptized. We were confirmed. We were uh, a devout follower of our religion. The Bible declares we are saved by grace, not by joining a religion, not by water baptism or any kinds of rituals and the confirmation. Hindi yung mga bautismo, binyag, hindi yan ang nakapagliligtas, hindi yung pag-anib sa relihiyon. Ang sabi ng Biblia, kayo ay nangaligtas dahil lamang sa biyaya ng Panginoon. Pag sinabing biyaya, awa, habag, grace, unmerited favor. Ang ibig sabihin ng grace, hindi mo pinaghirapan yan. Wala kang ginawa dyan. Parang kunwari, birthday mo. Oh. Ilang mga kapatiran natin, ang mga nagbi-birthday, no? happy birthday sa inyong lahat, happy anniversary, congratulations, best wishes. Ano man ang dumating na occasion sa inyo. No? We just want uh, to say to, to all of you, me and my family and the Kingdom of Jesus Fellowship, a blessed birthday, best wishes, congrats, etc., etc. Glory to God. God bless you more. Kung ikaw ay may celebration, Binigyan kita ng regalo, hindi mo hiningi. O kusang loob ko yun. Yun ang tinatawag na grace. Grace is a free gift. Supposing that you are celebrating, then I give you a gift. You did not ask for a gift. 
It is my uh, free gift to you. It is my uh, an act, a token of love for you. So it is a grace. Biyaya yun. Nakuha po ba natin? Biyaya yun. Ang sabi ng Biblia, Romans 3.10 and Romans 3.23. Romans 3.10 and Romans 3.23. For all have sinned and fall short in the glory of God. Lahat tayo nagkasala, nagkulang, nagkamali. Romans 3.10 and Romans 3.23. And the Bible declares, and Rome, and in Romans six twenty three, no, we will die. We will we will go to hell because of our sins. Liars will go to hell. Sinners will go to hell. Those who are in vices will go to hell. Those who are in false religion will go to hell. The A atheists will go to hell. Those who reject Christ as their Lord God and Savior will go to hell. Those who don't believe that Jesus Christ is God will go to hell. Those who don't believe that, Jesus, that God has three divine distinct personalities, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, if you will reject the Trinity, then you will go to hell. Because you are rejecting the truth. Oh, kapag ang katotohanan ay tinanggihan mo, so pupunta ka ng impyerno. Kapag ikaw ay nasa maling relihiyon, maling sekta, nasa maling pagsamba, nasa bisyot kasalanan, eh di pupunta ka ng impyerno. So ngayon, sabi ng Biblia, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Yun yun. Yan. Ito, yung, ito tayo, mga makasalanang tao. Ito ang, uh, ito ang, ano, ito ang uh, Diyos. So, may bangin dito. No, may bangin. Diyos, makasalanang tao tayo, may bangin dito. So ngayon, ang, na, ang naging tulay, yung ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. When He died on the cross of the Calvary, God became man and died on the cross of the Cal Calvary. No, he, is the, uh, he is our mediator. 1 Timothy 2.5 1 Timothy 2.5 Jesus Christ became our mediator in order for us to be saved. He is the God manifested in the flesh and died on the cross of the Calvary para tayo maligtas. Maliwanag na maliwanag itong sasabihin ko ha. Pag hindi mo po ito nakuha, ewan ko na lang. Lahat tayo ay makasalanang pupunta sa impyerno. Ngayon, ang Diyos ay nagkatawang tao. No? At sa laki ng pagmamahal niya sa atin, John 3.16, John 3.16, binayaran niya ang ating mga kasalanan sa krus ng Kalbaryo. So lahat tayo makasalanang pupunta ng impyerno, pero ang Diyos ay nagkatawang tao, siya si Heso Kristo, at binayaran ng ating mga kasalanan sa krus ng Kalbaryo. So ibig sabihin, wala tayong ginawa kung hindi ang Diyos ang may gumawa. Nagkatawang tao siya at namatay sa krus ng Kalbaryo. Ang gagawin mo lang, yung regalo niya, tanggapin mo. Kunyari, ikaw ay may, may celebration ngayon. So binigyan kita ng regalo, tanggapin mo. Pag hindi mo tinanggap, hindi mapapasa iyo ang regalo. Ganun din ang buhay na wala hanggan. Mapapasa iyo yan pag tatanggapin mo. So tanggapin mo si Christ bilang Lord God and Savior ng iyong buhay. Tanggapin mo si Christ na siya ang regalo ng Diyos sa atin para tayo maligtas. Ang liwanag nun, si Kristo ang regalo sa atin ng Panginoon upang tayo'y maligtas. Hindi yung sekta, hindi yung relihiyon. Hindi si Mary, hindi si Mama Mary mo. Si Mary, hindi ko mama. At walang verse sa Bible na mama Mary. Wala. Basahin mo ang Old Testament. Basahin mo ang New Testament. Walang mama Mary ron. Walang mama Mary loves you ron. Mm. At walang nanalangin kay mama Mary. Walang humingi ng tulong kay mama Mary. Nobody pray to mama Mary. Nobody as a help of mama Mary. There's no mama Mary loves you in the Bible. No religion in the, Bible, in the Bible. Not Mama Mary. No religion can save us. Only the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the, free, is the gift of God for us. In order for us to, to be saved. So tanggapin mo yung regalo ng Diyos. We are all sinners and bound to hell. But despite of all these things, God loves us so much. John 3.16 And God became man. God became man. 1 Timothy 3.16 1 Timothy 3.16 God became man. John 1.14 God became man. Romans 9.5 Romans 9.5 God became man. Hmm. 
Titus 2.13, Titus 2.13, God became man. Philippians 2.6, Philippians 2.6, God became man. 1 John 5.20, God became man. Ang daming versikulo na yun. Ulitin ko ulit ha, baka hindi mo nakuha ha. Titus 2.13, Romans 9.5, 1 John 5.20, John 1.14, at Philippians 2.6. Oh, nasayo ko nakatingin na walang kodigo sa ulado ko yan. E di lano na ako, matagal kang Christian. Matag pastor at pastora ka, leader ka. Dapat alam mo ito. Oh, nakikinig pa ho ba tayo? Kailangan mong i-memorize yan. <laughs> May tao pa ho ba rito? Sa purihin ng pangalan ng Panginoong Diyos sa buhay, we are all sinners and bound to hell. But the free gift of God for all of us is eternal life through the Lord Jesus Christ. The wages of sin is death, eternal damnation in hell. Sambayan ng Pilipino, all peoples of the earth, we are all sinners and bound to hell. Lahat tayo makasalanan, ako makasalanan, ikaw makasalanan ka. Kahit gaano ka kagwapo, kahit gaano ka kaganda. At ikaw ay merong abs na kagaya ko. <laughs> o maari ikaw, ikaw ay sexy. At ang figure mo ay 40-40-40. <laughs> so purihin ng Panginoon, no matter how popular you are, no matter how beautiful you are, no matter uh, how many your accomplishments are in this, in this world, no matter how rich you are, If you have not Jesus in your heart, you will go to hell. Yes, you have religion, baptize and confirm, but if you have no Jesus in your heart, you will go to hell. So accept Jesus Christ as your Lord God and Savior, and that is the grace of God. Grow in the grace and in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. You will never grow if you will accept first the grace of God. Then, after you receive the grace of God, then grow in the grace of God. Kaya mali yung aral na hyper grace ni Joseph Prince. Ang alam ko si Joseph Prince, taga Singapore yan eh. Minsan yung mga kasuotan yan, parang Jeff Rocks. Maedad na pero nagpapabata. Hyper grace teaching. Derek Prince is a good preacher. Patayin na yata si Derek Prince eh. I believe Derek Prince is already dead. He is a true preacher. But the hyper grace preaching of Joseph Prince, I believe he's from Singapore. It's a... Naunawaan po ba natin? His hyper grace teaching is a teaching from the pit of hell. Hmm. Yung grace, yun ang tama. At ang sabi ng Biblia, grow in the grace and in the knowledge. Dalawa yun eh. Saan ka magpapakalago? Sa biyaya at pagkakilala kay Kristo. So tanggapin mo muna si Kristo. Pag natanggap mo si Kristo, kilalanin mo siya. At patuloy mo siyang kilalanin. O, tanggapin mo yung biyaya. Pag natanggap mo yung biyaya, lumago ka sa biyaya. O, if you receive the grace of God, if you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord God and Savior, nagkaroon ka ng uh, right relationship with Christ, then, the Bible declares, don't be stagnant. Don't backslide. If you, got, if, if you got born again, if you got saved, you receive the grace of God. You, 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 you are now having a right relationship with Christ, so don't go backslide. Don't be stagnant. Grow. Lumago ka. Naunawaan po ba natin? Glory to God. Yun yun. Kaya sabi ng Ephesians 2, 8 and 9, again, For by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not from yourselves. It is the gift of God, not by works so that no one can boast. Hindi ka pwedeng magmalaki. Uy, malaki yung na-donate ko. Papasok ako ng langit. Mali. Uy, ako ay ano, uh, ginawa ko ito, ginawa ko yan sa sarili kong kakayanan, 
papasok ako ng langit, mali. Mga kapatid, sabi ng Isaiah 64 verse 6, write it down, Isaiah 64 verse 6, Isaiah 53 verse 6, Isaiah 64 verse 6, Isaiah 53 verse 6, we are like ships that gone astray. Tayo ay kagaya ng mga tupang naligaw ng landas. Iyong mga ipinagmamalaki nating kabutihan natin sa tingin ng Diyos, basahan lang yan. Our self-righteousness, like, like the righteousness of the Pharisees and the scribes during the time of Jesus Christ, are just filthy rags in the eyes of God. Basahan lang yan. Kaya ang sabi ng Biblia, not by your works so that no one can boast. Not by works so that no one can boast. Titus 3.3 to 7. Titus 3.3 to 7. At one time, we too were foolish, disobedient, deceived, and enslaved by all kinds of passions and pleasures. We live in malice and envy, being hated and hating one another. Ito yung mga naliwanagan na, yung mga naborn again na. Nakakilala na ay Kristo, nakatanggap na ng grace. These people already received the grace of God. Having a right relationship now with the Lord Jesus Christ and Apostle Paul declares at one time we too were foolish. Dati tayong mga mangmang, mga hangal, mga masuwain, mga nadaya, mga alipin ng kung ano anong mga kahalayan at mga sar at mga nasa passions and pleasures. At one time, we too were foolish, disobedient, deceived, and enslaved, and enslaved by all kinds of passions and pleasures. We live in malice and envy. Nako, nabubuhay tayo sa Malaysia, nabubuhay tayo sa mga ingit. Puro ingit, puro ingit. Kapag merong nakaposisyon, naiingit, naiingit, naiingit. Sabi nga nun dito, we live in malice and the envy being hated and hating one another. No? Tayo ay nag-aaway-aaway, nagtatampuhan, nag-aalit-alitan, nag-aaway-awayan. Hmm. Being hated and hating one another. But when the kindness and love of God, our Savior, appeared, yeah, and this is the grace of God, but when the kindness and love And of God, our Savior, appeared nung nahayag ang kabutihan at ang pag-ibig ng Panginoon. Verse 5, He saved us. Titus 3.3-7. Titus 3.3-7. Nasa verse 5 na po tayo. He saved us not because of righteous things we had done, but because of His mercy or grace. Mercy, grace, parehas yan. Oo. Pag tao, magkaiba yan. Si Mercy at si Grace, magkaibang tao yan. <laughs> Di ba? Pero, sa Biblia, yung meaning ng Mercy at saka Grace, halos pareha yan. Similar. The meaning of Grace and Mercy in the Bible are similar. You can change it, in, in, you can use it interchangeably. Pwede mong pagpalit-palit yan. Yan, nakuha po ba natin? Pero pag asawa mo na si Mercy, ipapalit mo si Grace, mali yun. Pag jowa mo na si Grace, ipapalit mo si Mercy, mali na yun. <laughs> Kaya, isipin mo maigi kung sino ang gusto mong maging jowa, kung sino ang gusto mong maging asawa. Huwag kang padalos-dalos, magtanong ka, magpa-cancel ka sa akin. Pag hindi ka gusto at gusto mo at kalooban ng Lord, ilalakad kita. <laughs> Itatakbo pa kita. Oh God. Naunawa po ba natin? He saved us not because of, of righteous things we had done, but because of His mercy. He saved us through the washing of rebirth and renewal of the Holy Spirit. Ito yung tinatawag na born again experience. Bagong buhay. Yan. Kaya sabi ng John 3.7, you must be born again. John 3.7. Except a man be born again, he cannot enter, he cannot see God. John 3.3 and John 3.5. John 3.3 to John 3.7. John 3.3 hanggang verse 7. Flesh gives birth to flesh, but the Spirit gives birth to the Spirit. 
Ang makalaman, aani ng laman. Ang, ang makaispirito, aani ng ispirito. Dapat kayong ipanganak na muli. Ibig sabihin, bagong buhay, bagong pagkatao. Dapat ang, matanggap nyo yung biyaya ng Panginoon, yung ahawa ng Panginoon. Naunawaan po ba natin? If we receive the grace, the mercy of God, then we, 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 we will be born again. Mabuborn again tayo. Magkaaroon tayo ng bagong buhay, bagong pagkatao. Yan, yan. Nakuha po ba natin bagong pagkatao? Kaya maraming nagpapatotoo, di ba? Dati akong bakla. Ngayon, bading na. Eh, di parehas pa rin. <laughs> dating bakla, dating bading, lalaki na ngayon. Dating tomboy, babae na ngayon. Dating mahalay, ngayon banal na. Dating uh, mabisyo, dating uh, makasalanan, nagbagong buhay na, yun ang born again. Ang born again, yan yung mga na-revive. Yan yung mga na-renew. Yan yung mga nagkaroon ng new life in Christ. Born again, those uh, people who, re- who, was, uh, who were revived, who, who, who received new life uh, in, in Christ, from Christ. New life of Christ. Yung nagkaroon ng bagong buhay, bagong pagkatao. Kagaya ako noon, nung unang panahon, ay naho, lagi ako nagmumura. Kasi bulaklak na nandila ako yun. Sugarol. Ganyan. At iba't iba pang bisyo at kasalanan. I used to gamble so hard. Oh, I used to to cast, to curse, to say bad words. It is a, a flower of my tongue. Hmm. But God changed me. Oh, used to live in malice. Used to live in uh, envy. Being hated and hating one another, the Bible declares, living in the flesh. But the Lord, the born-again Christians were uh, people changed by God, changed by the Holy Spirit. Pakinggan mo itong maigi. Mahirap magbago sa totoo lang. Kahit bugbugin mo yan, hindi mababago yan. Kahit patayin mo na yan, hindi mababago yan. Kahit ikulong mo yan, hindi mababago yan. Mababago lang yan kapag ang Holy Spirit ang nagbago sa Kanya. Yun yun. Even though, kill a person, you kill a person, put a, put a person in the prison cell, or uh, imanyanita mo yan, i-decolores mo yan, no? ipasok mo yan sa decolores, sa manyanita, hindi mababago yan. But, If a person will accept Jesus Christ as his Lord, as her Lord God and Savior, the Holy Spirit will live in that person, then he or she will be changed. Yun ang tinatawag na born again. Naunawaan mo na? Ang ibig sabihin ng mga na born again, yung mga nagbagong buhay. Hmm. Kaya ako, no? Glory to God, ay nakikipag uh, yung mga, dati, mga old friends ko, old classmates and old bats- batchmates, no? I, I mingle with them. I join them. But, they never see me drinking wine and liquor. They never see me smoking. They never see me saying green jokes. They never see me saying bad words. Hmm. Pag tinaas nila yung mga alak nila, Alfonso, o ano ba ba mga iniinom nila, San, San Miglite, ano ba ba yung mga iniinom nila. Itataas ko naman yung aking iced tea. Iced tea itataas ko. Tos tayo para sa tagumpay. O ako iced tea. Sila alak. Bahala sila sa buhay nila. Alam nilang lahat yun. Alam nila yun. Hindi ako nagbago. Kung ano ako sa loob ng church hanggang sa labas, yun pa rin ako. Kung ano ako sa loob ng tahanan hanggang sa labas, yun pa rin ako, hindi nagbago. Gwapo ako kahit saan, gwapo ako. I never change. I have no dual personality. <laughs> I am not an ADHD. But you know, to become, to be an ADHD is not a sin. No, we have to help the, AD, the ADHD people. We have to pray for them and uh, to, 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 yun na nga, 
Yung bang uh, unawa, inintindihin, alalayan natin sila. Ay, yung mga ADHD. Yan, naunawaan po natin yung mga autistic people. Hindi naman uh, kasalanan yun, hindi naman nila kagagawan yun, hindi naman nila kamalian yun. So, nagkaganon sila. So, tulungan natin, mahalin, alalayan. Ganoon yun. Na naunawaan po ba natin? Glory to God. Naalala ko nung sa TFCA, nung mga nag-aaral pa yung mga anak ko riyan, marami riyang mga ano eh, uh, may, may mga autism, may mga ADHD, pero sinasama sila sa sa ano sa mga regular na estudyante upang sa ganoon para mabuhay silang normal. At ako yung natutuwa, marami akong mga kaibigan diyan na mga estudyante uh, uh, may, may may mga personal uh, mga ano yun eh, mga tawag dito, mga special child. Yan. Ang tawag nila sa akin si Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Siguro sa loob-loob nila, pareho kami. <laughs> mga special kami. <laughs> Sila mga special child, ako special father. <laughs> so, so, burihin ang pangalan ng Panginoong Diyos sa buhay. Ituloy natin ang pagbasa, sabi sa verse 5, Titus 3, 3-5, sabi rito, He saved us not because of righteous things we had done, but because of His mercy, He saved us through the washing of rebirth and renewal by the Holy Spirit. Yan. Whom He poured out on us generously through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Ayun yun eh. Binuhos daw niya ang kagandahang loob. Binuhos daw niya ang kanyang pag-ibig. Niligtas niya daw tayo sa pamamagitan ni Kristong ating tagapagligtas. Jesus Christ is our Savior. Oh. Mama Mary is not our Savior. In fact, Mama Mary declares that Jesus Christ is he, her Savior. Nakikinig pa ho ba tayo? Sabi nila, hindi naman namin sinasamba si Maria. Eh, anong ginagawa mo kay Maria? Kung hindi mo sinasamba, eh, puro ka Maria. Kanta ka pa, Maria. Abe, Abe, Maria. Tapos sasabihin mo, hindi mo sinasamba si Maria. May rebulto ka ni Maria. Iniilawan mo yan, nilalagyan mo yan ng bulaklak, binibit-bit mo yan. Nasabihin mo, hindi mo sinasamba. Oh my gulay. <laughs> you are saying that you are not worshiping Mary and yet you are praying to Mary. You have uh, an, uh, an image of Mary. You are putting light to that uh, graven image of Mary. You are uh, putting a uh, flower to your uh, to the graven image of Mary. Mm. And yet you are not saying you are not worshiping Mary. Oh, um, eh, what you are do? Oh my gulay. Na naintindihan po ba natin 'yon? Yan. Sa verse 7 na tayo, sa verse 7. Titus 3:3 to 7. So that having been justified by His grace, we might become heirs, heirs having the hope of eternal life. You own. Tayo ro po ay napawalang sala. Napawalang sala dahil sa kanyang biyaya. Naligtas dahil sa kanyang biyaya. Ayun, ang liwanag ko. So that having been justified by His grace. Whose grace? God's grace. Tayo ay napawalang sala naligtas dahil lamang sa kanyang biyaya. Mm. Hindi dahil sa sa relihiyon, sa sekta, sa denominasyon, sa bautismo, sa binyag. Kaya nga ako paborito ko yung kantang yun eh. Hindi ko na naririnig yun eh. Ewan ko kung nasa YouTube yun. Only by the grace of my God. Only by the grace of my God. Dahil lamang sa biyaya ng Panginoon. Naunawaan po ba natin? So, if you receive the grace of God, If you receive Christ as your Lord God and Savior, then if you receive Christ as your Lord God and Savior, then you receive the grace of God. You are not saved, and the Bible declares, "Grow." Second Peter three eighteen. Wag ang banat, wag ang banatili yan lumago ka. Kaya sabi sa first two, first Peter chapter two verse two, first Peter chapter two verse two, like newborn babies crave pure spiritual milk, so that By it, you may grow up in your salvation. 
Remember, salvation is a free gift from God. It is not a product of our being righteous, self-righteousness. It is not a product of our join of of joining a religion. It is just the grace of God. Liwan naging ko ulit ha. Patungo ako ng impierno. Kinatok ako ng Dios. Pahayag tres. Revelation 3.20, Revelation 3.20, kinatok ako ng Diyos. Tinanggap ko si Christ, pinagbuksan ko siya. I opened my heart to Christ when He knocked at the door of my heart. Revelation 3.20. So I received the eternal life by grace. Mm. Then, God is asking us, 2 Peter 3.18, lumago ka. Mm. Kaya hindi niya ba nakikita? Di ba? Oh. Na yung iba nag-i-improve, nag-grow, nagma-mature, nadi-develop, nagpa-progress. Kaya like newborn babies, pag bago kang born again, ang tawag sa iyo newborn babe, newborn newborn babe. Pag bago kang born again, tawag sa iyo newborn babe. Oh. Pag uh, pag ang aso ng anak, ano ang tawag? Aso baka agad, hindi tuta. Pag ang pusa ng anak, pusa baka agad, hindi, kuting. Pag ang, pag ang manok ang nanganak, anong tawag? Sisiw. O. Pag ang matanda ng anak, ang tawag? Bata, sanggol. O, you see? Hmm. If a dog, bear a, a dog, it, uh, it will be called puppy. Something like that. Di ba? Pagkat kitten, Oh, di ba? Di ba? Ano sa English yung chicken? Ay, yung ano, sisiw. Ano sa English yung sisiw? Sayang yung mga binabayad sa inyo sa pag-aaral ninyo. <laughs> Hindi nyo alam. <laughs> Anong ano English ng, ng sisiw? <laughs> ah, chick. <laughs> chick. <laughs> Ayun, chick. Hindi chicken. Pag chicken, matanda na yun, no? Pag chick, bata pa yon. Kaya pala si ate chick, hindi tumatanda. Hindi halatang magpo-43 na yon. Glory to God. <laughs> na, na mga si Pastor Rahel May, 43 na ba yon? Hindi kasi tumatangkad eh. <laughs> like newborn babies, crave pure spiritual milk so that by it you may grow up in your salvation. So salvation is a free gift from God, but grow up in your salvation. Oh, grow up, grow up. Lumago ka naman, magmatured ka naman. Ephesians four thirteen. Grow up, be matured. Is Ephesians four thirteen. Hmm. Nakikinig pa huwag tayo. Colossians one twenty eight. Colossians one twenty eight. Oh. Colossians 1.28, Philippians 4.13 Until we all reach unity in the faith and in the knowledge of the Son of God and become mature. Ay, napaka-immature mo, hindi ka nag-grow. Tumatanda kang paurong. Yung edad mo nadadagdagan, pero yung isip mo, hindi. Yung kaalaman mo, hindi. Hanggang ngayon, paulit-ulit, tinuturuan ka pa rin. Oo. Oh. Dapat mag-mature. Naunawaan po natin. Ephesians 4.13 Naunawaan po ba natin? Oh. So anong sabi ni Apostle Paul sa Colossians 1.28? So that we may present everyone fully mature in Christ as an Apostle of God. Ano ang trabaho ng mga apostol? Immature ka, hindi ka lang iligtas. Ang trabaho ng mga apostol ay hindi ka lang iligtas, hindi ka lang palagig pagalingin, tapatanggapin ng tumanggap ng himala, maranasan ng kabutihan ng Diyos. Ang nais ng mga apostol, apostol magmature ka. Fulfill your highest calling and perfect destiny in Christ. Live for Christ, live with Christ, and live like Christ. Live for Christ, live with Christ, and live like Christ. Do the will of God till the last breath of your lives. Naunawaan po ba natin? 
May tao pa ho ba rito? Hmm. So that we may present everyone fully mature in Christ. Oh. Matutuwa ka ba? Ten year old na, nagdededi pa? Matutuwa ka ba nun? Ten year old na, nagdededi pa? Ten year old still. Oh. Drinking milk in a bottle, not in a glass. Feeding bottle. Oh. Naunawaan po ba natin? Kaya pag matatagal ng kristyano, leader, full-time, pastor at pastora, dapat mga mature na kayo. Hindi na kayo pasaway. Nakikinig pa ho ba tayo? Mm. Kapag uh, under training, mga trainee, so natatawag ng pastora, pastor, under trainee yan, under training, under observation, pero pag hindi nakapasa, wag mo nang tinapin, nagtatawag pa ng pastor at pastora, hindi nga nakapasa eh. Oh. Eh yun kasi ang pangarap natin eh, at yun din ang pangarap nila eh. Kagaya nga nung napanood ko sa TV, nakatapos siya ng medicine, nag-take siya ng, 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 ng exam, ng board exam, ano ba tawag doon? Yung mga doktor, yung nag-exam nila? Ano ba tawag doon? Board exam ba yun? So, hindi siya nakapasa. Hmm. Nadi-discourage siya. Oh. Ayaw, niya, ayaw niyang mag-take uli. Si nadi-discourage siya kasi yung unang take niya, He finished uh, medicine, but when he took up uh, a physician's examination, he failed. So he, he, he doesn't want again to take another exam, physician's exam, oh, in order for him to become a full-fledged doctor. So uh, he, her, his father encouraged him and called him doctor. Doc, take an exam. Oh, you will become a doctor. Mm. Kaya pag may mga under training dyan, under observation, misyan natatawag ng pastor at pastora. Oh, binibigyan natin ng mga, mga ID. Lalo na ngayong pandemya para makalusod sila rito at malamang sila yung mga frontliners din naman. Oh. Pero pag hindi nakapasa, pag pinag-aalis na yung mga ID sa kanila, huwag nyo nang pinagtatawag pang pastor at pastora yan. Hindi mga hindi nga nakapasa eh. Nakikinig pa ho ba tayo? Oo. Kung mga na-expose yung mga kasalanan. Oo. At alam naman ninyong na-expose yung mga kasalanan nyo at hindi na kayo na nga mga nakapasa, pag pinagtatawag kayong mga pastor at pastora, Wag nang wag nang nagliliparan yung mga puso ninyo at sabihin ninyo hindi totoo yan, hindi ako nakapasa. <laughs> Binigyan ako ng chance pero hindi ako nakapasa. Eh tao pa ho rito? Kaya nga tingnan niyo yung mga ID natin. Oh. Kahit nga nandoon ka na sa kalagayan ganoon eh pero may nakalagay doon so long as good standing is maintained. Oh. Eh pag hindi ka na ayos, hindi ka na okay. O, oh, di ba, kunwari, polis. Talagang polis talaga. Polis talaga, as in polis. O, oh, ay eh, naging, ano, polis patola, polis kotong. O, oh, tinanggalan siya ng tsapa. O, oh, hindi na siya polis. Dati siyang polis, pero hindi na polis. Gets mo? O, oh, naunawaan po natin? O, oh, before, he was a policeman. Police, policeman. P-O-L-I- C-E-M-A-N. Policeman. Wow, ang galing. Eh ngayon, naging kotong. Kotong cups. Kotong cup. Oh. Oh. That, that uh, person, uh, that, that police become iskalawag. So, so what will happen? So, he will be removed from his uh, position. So, he is no longer a policeman previous policeman, former policeman, but no longer a policeman, but a foolish man. <laughs> Angal na tao. Naunawaan po ba natin? Naintindihan po ba natin? Para, para naunawaan ninyo, yan, mga dating pastor at pastor yan, pero hindi yung mga nakapasa. Yan yung mga under training. Pero hindi naman nakapasa eh. 
Inalisan ng ID yan, mga yan. Tinanggalan niya, binabayan, dinii yan. Hindi mga nani naman, nakapasaya mga yan eh. Kaya, wag mo nang, uh, yun na nga, liwanag nun ha. So, puntahan natin sa aklat ng Proverbs, ay Proverbs, Philippians pala. Pero bago natin puntahan yung Philippians, uh, sige, Philippians 3, 10 to 14. At malapit na tayong magwakas. Yan. Pag sinabi kong malapit tayo na tayong magwakas, malapit na talaga yan. <laughs> Philippians 3, 10 to 14. I want to know Christ. You see? Yes, to know the power of His resurrection and participation of His sufferings becoming like Him in His death. Gusto kong makilala si Kristo. Yes, opo. Malaman ang kapangyarihan ng kanyang pagkabuhay na maguli, maging kabahagi sa kanyang pagdurusa, sa kanyang mga paghihirap, maging kagaya niya, maging sa kamatayan. Alam mo, ito ilagay mo to sa puso't isip mo ha, lahat kayo. Alam ko yung no pain, no glory. No sacrifice, no reward. No repentance, no acceptance of Christ, no eternal life. I know it. Kaya alam mo, yung kantang when feelings go away, if it cost me everything, I'll obey. Yan ako. Yan dapat tayo. When feelings go away, if it cost me everything, I'll obey. Kinakanta mo, hindi mo naman sinasa ka buhay. Kanta ka ng kanta. May paiyak-iyak ka pa, may panginig-nginig ka pa. Pero hindi mo naman sinasa ka buhay. I'll obey and serve you. I'll obey because I love you. I'll obey. My life is in your hand. Whose hand? God's hand. If it's a way to prove my love when feelings go away. If it cost me everything, I'll obey. O misan, talagang nararamdaman ko. Iba naman talaga yung nararamdaman ko kung magkaminsan eh. Hindi naman, alam mo, hindi naman palaging sa buhay na ito, akala mo palaging uh, laging uh, uh, ismut ang buhay. No. Somet sometimes, uh, I don't want to preach. I don't feel like uh, I want to preach. But the Bible declares, when feelings go away, if it costs me everything, I'll obey. No pain, no glory. More pain, more glory. No sacrifice, no reward. More sacrifice, more reward. Hmm. Kaya isa kabuhay mo ito, kapatid ko, kaibigan, minamahal mga magulang, isa kabuhay mo ito. Oo. Oh. Kaya kahit minsan, parang pakiramdam mo. Ayoko na, suko na ako, address na ako, hindi ko gagawin yan, iba na lang. Pero wag ganun. To prove my love when feelings go away, if it cost me everything, I'll obey. Hmm. I want to know Christ. Yes, to know the power of His resurrection. Philippians 3, 10 to 14. And participation of, in His sufferings, becoming like Him in His death. And so somehow attaining to the resurrection from the dead. Oh, you see? Anong sabi niya? Not, not that I have already obtained all this or have already arrived at my goal. But I press on to take hold of that for which Christ Jesus took hold of me. Hindi sa narating ko na to, naabot ko na, nangyari na at naganap na. Pero alam mo, hindi ako umatras, hindi ako sa musuko, hindi ako bumibigay. Oh. Nagpapahinga once in a while, pero hindi umatras, hindi sa musuko. Napapagod, pero hindi umatras, hindi sa musuko nasasaktan, umiiyak, may pakiramdam tao, pero hindi umaatras, hindi sumusuko. Not that I have already obtained all this or have already arrived at my goal, but I press on to take hold of that for which Christ Jesus took hold of me. Nakikinig pa ho ba tayo? Brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have, to have taken hold of it, 
But one thing I do, forgetting what is behind and is training toward what is ahead. I press on. Pakisabi, press on. Toward the goal to win. To win, to win, to win. Winners never quit and quitters will never win. To win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. Nagpapatuloy ako, hindi ako nananatili. I am not, I do not backslide. I do not remain wherever I am right now to become stagnant. I grow. Kaya nga, minsan pag-aralan nyo, ganda-ganda ng kantang yun. Mas ma- minsan magaganda, ganito ang gawin natin. Yung mga bagong kanta na magaganda ngayon, kantahin natin yan. Yung mga lumang kanta na magaganda, kantahin pa rin natin yan. Until now, until now, nasa ano na tayo ngayon eh? Nasa hindi na tayo millennials ngayon. Ano na ngayon tayo? Z generation na, hindi na millennials. We are now in the Z generation. Despite that we are now in the Z generation, you can still hear the song of the song of Beatles, the song of Elvis Presley, the song of this and that, the song of Carpenter, the song of Eddie Peregrina, Victor Wood, Nora or Nora, and etc. etc. Oh. Ganun din ang gawin natin sa Panginoon. Ngayon may mga bagong kanta ngayon eh. Pero kantahin pa rin natin yung mga luma, magaganda yun. Lord, I want to know you more. Deep within my soul, I want to know you. Oh, I want to know you. And I would give my final breath to know you in your death and resurrection. Oh, I want to know you more. Lord, I want to know you more. Kaya nga, mag-special number. Iparinig yung mga kantang may minsahe. Maganda yung may magandang boses. Pero mas maganda yung may magandang puso. At maliwanag na kinakanta, ipinapaabot sa mga tao yung minsahe. I-interpret sa pamamagitan ng sayaw. Mm. Nakikinig pa ho ba tayo? During praise and worship song, kantahin yung mga kanta, iparinig sa buong mundo. I love you, Lord, and I lift my voice to worship you, O my soul. Rejoice. Eh, ganun. Pagsamahin natin yung luma at yung mga bago. Hmm para nakaka-relate yung mga mga matatanda ang kagaya ko at nakaka-relate din yung mga bago. Amen po ba? Mm. No, naintindihan natin. Colossians 4:12, Colossians 4:12. Colossians 4:12. Ipapras who is one of you and a servant of Christ Jesus sends greetings. He is always wrestling in prayer for you that you may stand firm in all the will of God, mature and fully assured. Nako, sabi ni Apostol Pablo, alam mo, hangarin namin, mag-mature kayo eh. We desire for you, Christians, leaders, pastora and pastor full-time, members of the body of Christ, to mature. If you are an unbeliever, you belong to a religion and not yet born again. So you have to accept first the grace of God and to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord, God, and Savior. And after that, you have to grow in the grace and in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. And Apostle Paul, as an, as an Apostle of God, is saying, no, we want you, all of you, to be matured. Hmm. And the Ipapras is wrestling. Minananalangin para sa inyo para kayo magmatured. So dito na po ako magwawaka sa isang, sa isang kwentong ito. Nagpapasalamat tayo sa buhay ni Manny Pacquiao, the senator Manny Pacquiao. He got born again. And he said, he used to be a womanizer, something like that. He used to be uh, having vice, vices. No? And uh, Manny Pacquiao used to pray the rosary to Mary, not to Jesus, because he, he was not yet born again before. Oh. 
But the Filipino people and the whole world was surprised because he is declaring that he 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 is no longer praying to Mama Mary, not reciting anymore a rosary. He is now a born again Christian, having a relationship with Christ. Oh, and he we can see now Senator Manny Pacquiao preaching the gospel of Christ, singing worship song, praising song, together with his family. He wants also others to become Christian, to be, become born again Christian. Pero, tama na ba yun? Hindi, kailangan mag-grow ang ating minamahal na Senador Manny Pacquiao. Oh. Saan siya dapat mag-grow? Oh. Boxing. The Bible declares first John for 7 and 8. Beloved, let us love one another, not boxing one another, that bug, not bugbugan one another. Boxing is not an sports. It's not an it's not a, a sport. Hindi hindi yan sports yan. It's not a sports. In fact, boxing is a gambling. Boxing destroy a body. Boxing kills. Oh. And despite Mami Junisha keep, keep on keep on asking Mani Pacquiao, Mane, ano pa ba ang gusto mo sa buhay mo, Mane? Nasa imo na tanan. Tama na ang boxing, tigil na. Bakit? Eh, delikado. Baka mapatay ka at makapatay ka. Delikado, baka masira yung katawan mo, masira, makasira ka ng katawan. O, matanda ka na, lalaban ka pa. Kinakalawan ka na eh. O, kung noon, napahintulutan ng Diyos yung boxing, noon yun, unbeliever ka, ngayon born, naging ka na, hindi ka na dapat nagbaboxing. If you are an, a boxing aficionado because you are not yet born again, if you become born again, you are no longer a boxing aficionado. Are you still with me? Are, are you still listening? Oh. So anong kulang kay Senator Manny Pacquiao na born again siya, salamat sa Diyos? Yung magro siya. Kaya lang ang problema, maraming pastor at maraming pastora o maraming born again Christian mga fake false pastors o mga iba, o, fake and false pastors or immature pastors, you know, instead of uh, guiding Manny Pacquiao into maturity, guiding pa -pa Manny Pacquiao to live for Christ, live with Christ, and to live like Christ, to grow and mature, to bring Manny Pacquiao to highest uh, calling and to, to, his, to his perfect destiny in Christ, the beloved senator Manny Pacquiao, you know, they are, they are compromising. They are after the money of Manny Pacquiao. They are after the popularity of Manny Pacquiao. Kaya, yung mga nagsasabi, oh, ito, habuli natin ito. Nagpapatayo ito ng building, eh, may lupain ito, eh, may bakahan na ito, may sakahan ito, eh, may baboyan ito, may halamanan ito, may bakery ito, may bake shop ito. Habulin natin ito, wala akong plano. Ang sabi ko, wala akong plano. Nakikinig pa ho ba tayo? Ang ahabulin ko si Jesus, patuloy akong ihingi ng awat habag sa Kanya. Kasi totoo lang, bago ako mag-preach, nakikita ako mga kapatid, lumuluhod ako rito sa harapan eh. Pag hindi ako rito nakaluhod, bago ako pumunta rito sa harapan, nandun ako sa likod. Minsan, bago pa ako magpunta rito, nasa bahay ako, luhod na ako eh. Before I preach, I kneel down here or at the back or before I came here in our house, in the sala or in the bedroom, I kneel down and asking the grace of God, the mercy of God. Just trusting in Him. Gets mo? Mm. Mm. Kaya, thank God for Manny Pacquiao, the senator, the beloved senator. He got born again. He is no longer uh, a womanizer. Or, uh, or, 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 or I'm very sorry. Whatever vices he had before, he is not doing it anymore. He is not praying to Mama Mary, not reciting a rosary anymore because he is now a born again Christian. He is now reading the Bible, preaching the gospel of Christ. 
He is now in including his family, praising song, worshiping uh, Jesus. But you know, but something is lacking, and this is my job as an apostle of God. That is why I am not afraid to preach the truth and nothing but the truth. Anong sabi ni Apostol Pablo sa gawa 20? Basahin ko lang po ito. Kaya ako humahaba kasi minsan gusto ko lang maipaliwanag pa ng lubos eh. Kaya dinadagdagan ko eh. Anong sabi ni Apostol Paul sa gawa 20? Anong sabi niya rito? Acts chapter 20. Tingnan natin to ha. Hmm. Acts 20. Acts 20. Andali ha. Acts 20, Acts 20. Gawa 20. Anong sabi niya sa Acts 20? Verse 27, Acts 20, 27, Acts 20, 27. For I did not shrink from declaring to you the whole counsel of God or the will of God. Hindi ako nang hina, nang lamig, sumuko, umatras, natakot, kinabahan para ipahiyag sa inyo ang buong katotohanan ng Diyos. I did not, for I did not shrink from declaring to you the whole counsel. Nakuha ninyo. At ano pa ang sabi niya? Anong sabi niya? Sa verse 33, sa verse 33, Acts 20, 33, Acts 20, 33, I coveted, No one silver or gold or apparel. I coveted no one silver or gold or apparel. Hindi ko pinagnasaan ang pag-aari ng sino paman. Ginto o pilak o kagamitan, kasuotan, wala akong pinagnasaan. Why? Dahil ang sinasabi ni, ni Apostle Paul, I will... I want to know Christ. He is after Christ. Basahin ko lang po ito sa Tagalog, no? Idagdag ko lang po ito. Ha, idagdag ko lang. Sa, sa Tagalog ko basahin, ha? Tapos uh, basahin natin sa English, ha? Pilipos 3. Pilipos 3. Pilipos 3. Basahin ko ito para maintindihan natin. So, thank God for Manny Pacquiao. He got born again. But Manny Pacquiao must grow. Must grow in the Lord. Be matured. Be like Christ. Hmm. Hindi porky na born again ka na, akala mo ta- nagtapos na yon. Ganito yan. Pag hindi ka born again, na born again ka at namatay ka, ayos. Pero pag hindi ka born again, na born again ka, hindi ka pa mamat- mamamatay, eh dapat mag-grow ka. If you are an unbeliever, then got born again, and you die, oh, that's it. But if you are an unbeliever, then got born again, and you have to grow. Be matured. Live for Christ, live with Christ, and live like Christ. Fulfill your highest calling and perfect destiny in Christ. Philippos 3. Verse 7. Philippos 3.7. Tagalog muna bago English. Bago English, pasayin ko muna sa Tagalog. Yan, para maintindihan ng lahat. Pilipos 3.7 Ngunit dahil kay Kristo, ang mga bagay na pinapahalagahan ko noon ay itinuring kong walang kabuluhan ngayon. Ngunit dahil kay Kristo, ang mga bagay na pinapahalagahan ko noon ay itinuring ko ng walang kabuluhan ngayon. Oo, itinuturing kong walang kabuluhan ang lahat ng bagay bilang kapalit ng lalong mahalaga. 
ang pagkakilala kay Kristo Jesus. Yun na ang gusto niya. Na aking Panginoon. Noon hindi niya Panginoon si Jesus. Ang lahat ng bagay ay pinalalagay kung walang kabuluhan, makamtan ko lamang si Kristo. Wala na siyang nais ngayon kundi ang Panginoong Heso Kristo. In English, but, but whatever were gains to me, I know consider loss for the sake of Christ. What is more, I consider everything a loss because of the surpassing worth of knowing Christ, Jesus my Lord, for whose sake I have lost all things. I consider them garbage that I may gain Christ. Kaya yung mga backslider ngayon, yung mga nangihina at nang lalamig, delikado, maiiwang kayo sa rapture of the church, hindi kayo papasok ng langit. Those who are lukewarm Christian, God will spit you out of His mouth. You will not be included in the rapture of the church. Who will be the one to be included in the rapture of the church? Those whose love for Jesus is great. Those who are truly waiting for Jesus, on fire for Jesus, a flaming, a blazing for Jesus. Nakikinig pa ho ba tayo? Hmm. Kaya ang sabi ng Biblia, grow in the grace and in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Sa lahat ng mga hindi pa born again, maborn again ka na ngayon. Tanggapin mo yung awat habag ng Diyos. Tanggapin mo si Christ bilang Lord God Savior ng buhay mo. At ngayong naborn naging ka na, huwag kang tumigil, huwag kang umatras ka sa muko, huwag kang mag-backslide. Ano mang problema pag subok laban ng buhay, hindi ka dapat alisin yan. Sino mang driver, hindi ka dapat alisin yan. Kahit pa yung pasahero, kahit pa pulis, o kahit sinong babait lalaki, hindi ka dapat alisin yan. Ilayo ka sa Diyos. Ilayo ka sa paglilingkod sa Diyos. Kaya yung mga dalagat binata riyan, kung mag-aasawa kayo, yung ilalapit kayo sa Diyos. Kasama ninyo sa paglilingkod sa Panginoon. At ididiklaran ninyong, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Eh, ang problema kasi, huwag kang nagagalit sa akin. Minsan kasi, ang gusto nyo lang kasal, ayaw nyo ng counseling. Sabi ko nga sa isang kapatid, alam mo, tama naman yung aral ko simula't simula nung una pang panahon. Hinihintay ko lang na matanggap nyo. At salamat sa Panginoon, ngayon natatanggap na ninyo. Alam mo, ang isang nagmamahal na tatay o nanay, inuunawa yung anak niya eh. Minsan mali, pero patuloy niya iniintindi at inuunawa. Patuloy na minamahal. Pero hinihintay niya, anak, magbago ka na, lumalaki ka na eh. Mag-grow ka na, mag-mature ka na. Grow up. Be matured. Be responsible. Naunawaan po ba natin? Hmm. Kaya po sa lahat ng mga hindi pa born again, Christian, be born again. At kung born again na tayo, grow in the grace of God. Amen? So tayong lahat ay tumayo. Hallelujah. Aawitin natin to talaga, galing sa puso natin ha. Aawitin talaga natin to, susundin natin to ha. Susunod ako, maglilingkod sa iyo. Susunod ako dahil mahal kita. Kahit kung magkaaminsan, maraming problema pagsubok laban ng buhay. Minsan parang hindi ko na nararamdaman. O oh, hindi na ako karapat dapat condemn na, nagrebel dit nagkasala. Pero babalik at magpapatuloy sa iyo. Binigay mo na ba ang buhay mo kay Kristo pero muling nawala? Ibigay mo uli. Binigay mo na ba ang buhay mo kay Kristo? Magpatuloy ka. Give your life to the Lord now. If you have given it before, give it again to God. If you have given your life to Jesus now, then grow in the grace and in the knowledge of Christ.
Wag kang umalis sa pag-awit, pagtugtog, pagsayaw, pangangaral. Sabi nga ng isang kapatid natin ngayon ay nanonood. Namimiss ko ang pag-attend sa main church. Baka nasahain mo uling makabalik sa main church. Baka nasahain mo uli. Mag-meet tayo uli, magtagpo tayong muli. I thank God for this live streaming. Because those who are far, those who have gone astray, those who have lost, are coming back again, returning back again. God promised me, your lost daughters and sons, the lost daughters and sons, my lost sons, sons and daughters, God promised me, they will return. And as they return, they return re rejoicing, full of tears, tears of rejoicing. Pinangako sa akin ng Diyos. Babalik silang lahat. Silang mga nangawala, naligaw at nalihis ng landas. Babalik sila. At sa kanilang pagbalik, punong-puno sila ng kagalakan, punong-puno ng luha. Walang mali sa aral ko, sa totoo lang. Ang mali ang buhay mo. Ayusin mo ang buhay mo. Tanggapin mo ang tamang aral. Pahalagahan mo ang lahat. Higit kanino man. Higit saan man. Mas mababa. Pangalawa. Nauuna ang Diyos. Nalagay ka sa pagtugtog. I-improve mo yan. Pag-aawit, pag pagsayaw. I-improve mo yan. Nilagay ka sa pagkakalobi, improve mo yan. Mekaniko, driver, hatid sundo, improve mo yan. Nasa camera ka, improve mo yan. I-improve natin. Nagiginig pa ba tayo? Naunawaan po ba natin? Hindi siya nabing manatili ka rin kung matras o sumuko ka. Shall we sing that song once again? I'll obey I'll obey and serve you I'll obey because I love you. I'll obey. My life is in your hand. If it's a way to prove my love when feelings go away. If it costs me everything, sing it again. I'll obey and serve you. I'll obey. Alam mo, makinig kang maigi sa akin. Lahat ng mga chapters natin, lahat ng mga outreaches natin, kahit may mga services tayo riyan, kumonta ka rito makinig manood ka rito at lahat ng mga preachers natin sa mga chapters and outreaches natin buong Pilipinas, buong mundo sabihan mo ang lahat ng mga attendee natin kumontak dito, makinig manood dito at ipangaral nyo rin ito dahil ito ang tama, totoo, mainam, correct dadaling ka sa tunay na kaligtasan kagaling at himala at maranasan mo ang kabutihan ng Diyos. Dadaling ka sa maturity, sa highest calling mo, sa perfect destiny in Christ mo. That is to do the will of God till the last breath of our lives. Huwag magmamalaki yung mga nakatayo na riyan. O kahit may mga service na kayo dyan, huwag kayong magmamalaki. At kung naipadala ka dyan, huwag kang magmamalaki. Yung ibinababa rito, ibaba mo riyan. Sing it. Alleluia. Ialay pa natin ang ating buhay sa Panginoon. 
na born again ka na, lalo ka pang mag-grow, inaalay mo na, lalo ka pang mag-alay pa ng buhay sa Diyos. Ura raba shiri ni bianda lalahanda. If it's away, if it's away to prove my love when feelings go away, if it costs me everything, I for the very last time sing it. I'll obey and serve you. Because I love you. Because I love you. I'll obey. My life is in your hands. If it's a way to prove my love when If feelings go away. If it costs me everything, I'll obey. Gayahin mo yung mga kapatiran natin. Nanonood sila, nagla-live streaming din sila. Nanonood sila, nire-repost, nire-reshare. Pinapalo nila like pa. Nanonood sila, sinisend pa sa messenger ng lahat ng friends nila. Gayahin mo yan. Dahil ayaw nilang solohin yung katotohan ng kanilang tinatanggap. Huwag kang matakot sa persecution. Sa mga atak ng jablo, hindi naman nagwawagi yan eh. Do not be afraid of persecution, attack of the enemy. It will not win over us. As you learn the truth, share it also to others. Share this message to others. Let them also to watch and listen our program. Join us and becoming a part of this of the kingdom. Let us pray and pass at this nation rapidly quickly, immediately, becoming a kingdom of Jesus and the nations of the world. Taas po natin yung ating dalawang kamay patungo ng langit. Shall we lift our both hands to Jesus? Lord Jesus, I believe that you are God became man. I accept you now as my Lord God and Savior. Naniniwala ako, Panginoong Yesus, Ikaw ay Diyos na nakatawang tao. Tinatanggap kita bilang aking tagapagligtas. Linisin mo ang aking pusong marumi. Cleanse my heart as a sinful heart with your holy blood. Come into my heart and be the Lord God and Savior of my life. Linisin mo ang marumi kong buhay puso ng iyong dugo na nabuo sa krusang albaryo. Pumasok ka ngayon sa aking puso. Ikaw na ang masunod at maghari. Tulungan mo pa, mo pa po akong makilala ka pa sa isang mas malalim tamat Biblia ang kaparaanan. Tulungan mo pa po akong makasunod pa sa iyo. Tulungan mo pa po akong magana pa ang iyong kalooban. Tulungan mo ako, Panginoon, na hindi manghina, manglamig, o matras, sumuko, o bibigay, bumitaw, lalo pagbutihin pa ang paglilingkod sa iyo. So help me, God, to be like you, to live for you, to live with you, to do thy will till the last breath of my life, to offer and to give my very best for you. Make me your instrument of your love and salvation for all the Filipino people and all the peoples of the earth. Panginoon, ito po ang dalangin namin. Gamitin niyo po ang aming mga buhay. Gamitin niyo po ang aming radyo, ang aming television, ang aming mga sinusulat. Gamitin niyo ang aming mga social media accounts. Gamitin niyo po ang ministry ng ito, Panginoon. Iligtas niyo ang buong Pilipinas at ang buong mundo sa pamamagitan namin. Maranasan ng body of Christ at ng buong mundo ang iyong maturity, ang iyong highest calling and perfect destiny in Christ. May we bring the church, the Philippine island and the nations of the world to the real salvation of Jesus, to experience healing and miracle from God, to experience the goodness of God and to bring the church, the Philippine island and the nations of the world into our highest calling and perfect destiny in Christ. Sa lahat po ng mga nakikinig at nanonood, 
Tanggapin ninyo ngayon ang kagalingan. Tanggapin ninyo ngayon ang himala. Ang pagpapala ang, kasagu- ang kasagutan sa inyong mga kahilingang panalangin. Kung meron pa kayong tanong, PM lang dito. Kung meron pang mga sakasakali sa darating na, na panahon, huwag maihiya. Kung may prayer request, magsabi lang. Kung nangangailangan ng payo, magsabi lang. At hinipo ka ng Diyos. Gusto mong maglingkod sa King of Jesus Fellowship, gawin mo. Itayo mo ang kayo JF sa lugar, sa lugar na kinalalagyan ninyo. Hinipo ka ng Diyos para ibigay ang kaloob pinansyal. Suportahan ako at ang aking pamilya at ang Kingdom of Jesus Fellowship. Gawin mo. Don't be in hesitation. If you need counseling, if you have question, and if time will come, you, you need pra, uh, you have a prayer request, just contact us, contact me. Don't be afraid. Attend and be a part of this ministry. Serve God. Establish the KOJF in your area. The Lord is touching your heart to pray and fast for me and my family and to the KOJF. It's leadership to finance and support me and my family and this ministry should so do it God will open the windows and the doors of heaven pour out so much blessing that there will be no room enough to contain it so, sa oras na ito tanggapin ninyo ang kapatawaran ng Diyos ang bagong buhay ang buhay na wala hanggan tanggapin ninyo ang kagalingan tanggapin niyo ang himala ng Panginoon yes tanggapin ninyo sagot sa inyong panalangin tanggapin ninyo ikaw at ang buong pamilya mo'y maglilingkod sa Diyos. Ang buong Nueva Ecija, ang buong Pampanga, ang buong Bicol, ang buong Bisaya, ang buong Luzon, ang buong Mindanao. The, the, the whole Philippines will become kingdom of Jesus. Your family will serve God. All Filipino people will serve God. The nations of the world will save God. The Taliban, the Agpan, Agpanistan will serve the Lord, will become kingdom of Jesus. India, Japan and the nations of the world. So receive your healing now. Receive your miracle now. And receive now continually the press touch of the Holy Ghost. Tanggapin ninyo ang patuloy na kalakasan ng Diyos. Kapangyarihan ng Diyos na press touch of the Holy Spirit lalo mong maintindihan, maunawaan ng ang maraming bagay. The Lord is opening now your spiritual eyes, spiritual ears, spiritual minds, your, your, your heart. You will understand the deep things of God, the deep things of Jesus. You will desire more Jesus. You will love more Jesus. You will desire more to be like Him, to live like Him and to live for Him, to live with Him. Father, just let it flow. Huwag niyo pong pababayaan ang lahat ng mga nakikinig at nanonood, mga kapatiran. Lalo na, Panginoon, yung mga nananalangin, nag-aayun at sumusuporta pinansyal. Huwag niyo pababayaan, Panginoon, yung walang ibang inaasahan, walang ibang magtatanggol at walang ibang tatakbuhan, kundi ikaw lamang. Makilala ka nila, Panginoon, sa isang tama at Biblia ang kaparahanan. Yes, Lord. Pura rabasyanda. Oh, bless us more, Lord. Bless us more, Lord, in every areas and aspects of our lives. May we experience more the benefits of the cross of the Calvary. And don't forget, Lord, the Filipino people, oh, our brethren, Father God, here in the Philippines and the nations of the world, those who are in need, those who are poor, those who are in need of your care and concern. Lord, call people, all people unto repentance and to be born again and to grow and mature in Christ. Kaya sa oras na ito, magpasalamat tayo sa Panginoon, mga kapatid. Magpasalamat tayo sa Diyos. Yes. Magpasalamat tayong lahat sa Panginoon. Sige, lahat tayong nandito. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, 
Salamat po, Panginoon, for your salvation. Thank God for the healing, for the miracle, for the salvation. Our names now are recorded, written in the Book of Life. Salamat, Panginoon, nakatala ngayon ang aming mga pangalan sa aklat ng buhay sa kalangitan. Salamat, Panginoon, sinusuplay niyo ang lahat ng aming mga pangangailangan. Thank you, Jesus. Ura Rabakanda. Hindi ko maiisa-isa lahat ng mga panalangin mo pero isa-isang sinagot kayo ng Panginoon. No more cancer, no more virus, no more germs, no more bacteria, no more stress, no more depression, no more attack of the enemy. Ura Rabashanda Rabashanda, but victory upon victory, healing upon healing, miracle upon miracle. Success upon success. Thank you, Jesus. So, Father, let it flow continually. protektahan nyo sa lahat ng variant ng coronavirus na ito. Inaalis nyo ang quarantine at mga lockdown na ito. Binubuhay nyo ang ekonomiya, Panginoong Diyos. Binapagaling nyo ang mga may sakit sa atmang ospital, Panginoong Diyos. Dito sa Pilipinas, maging sa buong mundo. Ura Rabakanda. Yes, Lord, in Jesus' name. Ura Rabakanda, Rarabashanda. Yes, Lord. Ura rabakanda lala hinda raraba rurubusundo. Every alley, every street, every corridor, every boulevard, every avenue, every barangay, every subdivision, every village, every town, every city, every stop, state, every country, every continent, Panginoon, you are visiting it, Lord, in Jesus' name. Destroying the wants and works of the enemy, destroying sins and iniquities, false religions and false beliefs, destroying cancers and viruses and bacteria and germs, and in Jesus' name, destroying the wants and works of the enemy. Oh, ang buong Pilipinas, ang buong mundo binibisita mo panginoon para patayi ng coronavirus, ang pandemya, ang cancer, lahat ng sakit karon tama, lahat ng gawa ng katiliman lahat ng kabiguan, pagpapakamatay, pagpatay. Ura rabariribiyan na lalakhan na rarabariribiyan na lalabara rabakan na rarabashiki. Yes, Lord. Ura rabakiribiyan na rarahanda. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So, kung meron pang tanong, prayer request, ano pa bang maitutulong namin, PM lang dito. Yung financial mong kaloob, padala mo. Maraming kaparaanan. There are so many ways in order for, order for you to contact us, to give your good testimony, what the, what the Lord, uh, what good things God, what, what, what uh, the Lord, uh, what good, yung, yung magandang ginawa ng Panginoon. Truly, the Lord uh, did good things to you. So, tell us. And if you need prayer, counseling, question, or your uh, financial support, just be I'm here. No. Oh. So, purihin ang pangalan ng Panginoon. Na ako yung nagpapasalamat, ha? Sa lahat ng mga dumadalo, nakikinig, nanonood, nagpapadala. Sino man po kayo, saan man kayo, maraming salamat. At yung mga kapatiran nating pansamantalang nangaligaw, nangalis, nangawala, nagpapasalamat ako sa Diyos, binabalik kayo ng Panginoon. Thank you, Lord. 
So, bago tayo mag-closing prayer, Pastor Raelmi, mag- uh, uh, sino mag-closing prayer? Bahala ka na, ikaw, o si Sir Joy, o si Bagda. <laughs> Umayot muna tayo ng isang victory proclamation, na Sige, matagumpay na victory proclamation at matagumpay na closing prayer. Okay, yun ang pangalan ng Panginoon. Kaya nga ano eh, Kingdom of Jesus, a kingdom that cannot be second, si Sir Joy eh. We cannot be cursed eh, for the shout of the King is among us. Kaya ngayon service natin, victorious worship service eh. Ori yun ang pangalan ng Panginoon. Hallelujah! Patuloy natin itagum- uh, ipagbunyi ang katagumpayan ng ating gawain sa araw na ito. Amen po ba? Amen! Hallelujah! We cannot be cursed for the shout of the King is among us!
God. Whew. Praise God at tayo pong lahat ay umuko at pumikit at tayo po ay dadako na sa ating pangwakas na panalangin. Muli Panginoon, salamat po Panginoon sa araw at oras na ito Lord na muli naranasan ka namin Panginoon, nakasama ka namin. Naranasan namin ang katagumpayan Panginoon, ang himala mo, ang pagpapala mo Panginoon. Salamat Lord dahil dahil sa araw-araw ay ay sinasamahan mo kami Panginoon at sa bawat gawain Panginoon ay kasama ka namin Panginoon. Hindi mo hinahayaang hindi ka na, hindi hindi ka namin makatagpo Panginoon. Salamat muli Panginoon sa mensahe mong binaba Panginoon at tunay Lord na isa sa kabuhay namin to at aming lalakaran Panginoon. Salamat Lord dahil magugrow kami Lord at magiging matalino kami Panginoon sa 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 paglakad Panginoon sa salita mo Panginoon at sa paggawa ng kalooban mo Panginoon. At Lord, nawa Panginoon ang 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 am, ang susunod na gawain namin Panginoon ay ay tagumpay muli Panginoon at kasama ka muli namin Panginoon. At Lord, sineselyuhan po namin Panginoon ang lahat ng nangyari na ganap sa ha, sa hapong ito Panginoon. At tunay Panginoon na ang pangalan mo Panginoon ang nataas Panginoon. Kaya naman Lord, sa lingkod mo na ginamit Panginoon ay patuloy mo siya Panginoon na binibless Panginoon at pinagtatagumpay Panginoon. At at patuloy mo po po siyang gamitin, Panginoon, at ang kanyang buong sambahayan, Panginoon, sa pagpapalaganap ng, ng salita mo, Panginoon. At Lord, Ikaw nga lang po ang nataas sa araw na ito, wala nang iba pa, Panginoon. At sa iyo lamang po namin maingat na binabalik ang lahat ng papurit pa sa salamat sa, sa, sa matamis mong pangalan, Panginoon. Sa pangalan ni Jesus, Amen.